Before police blocked off the street and started their investigation, just minutes after the C-Tran bus hit an elderly woman in the street, Mary and her grandson, Justin Burton, drove up. People getting off the bus, and they were all in panic and, and the bus standing in crowds, and the bus driver looked like he was in shock. They overheard witnesses talking. They said they told the bus driver to stop, stop, that there's someone crossing the crosswalk. And they saw the woman's body pinned under the back of the bus. I just couldn't drive. I just parked. I couldn't, you know, too shook up. Workers at nearby businesses quickly got word. And the position of the body was like the bus had made a left turn and uh, struck the person. And I don't know if the driver even saw it. Through the windows of Tommy O's, a server noticed the bus when it first drove by. They just rounded the corner because they had a green light, but I guess they just didn't see the person crossing the street, and the person on the street had the right of way. Police have not confirmed that. They won't say yet who was at fault, but their initial investigation shows the bus was turning left onto Washington when the woman stepped into the crosswalk. She died there minutes later. It was right there in front of me. I just kept telling just her, it's all, right, week. it's all right. She said, no, it's not all right. And the bus driver has been with C-Tran for 17 years and is now on paid administrative leave until the investigation is complete. He is also undergoing drug and alcohol testing, which is policy for C-Tran after any bus crash. Live in Vancouver, Erica Nochlin, K2 News. Just a tragic afternoon there in Vancouver. Thank you, Erica.